The long-awaited report by special counsel John Durham about the FBI's probe into the 2016 Trump campaign and its alleged ties to Russia was released publicly today. Durham was appointed by former Trump Attorney General William Barr to look into what many on the right saw as a politically motivated investigation. While Durham's report offers no significant new evidence, it is deeply critical of the FBI. Durham called their handling of parts of the investigation seriously deficient and wrote that investigators were too credible towards partisan actors, writing, senior FBI personnel displayed a serious lack of analytical rigor towards the information that they received. Washington Post reporter Devlin Barrett has been following all of this, and he joins me now. Devlin, thank you so much for being here. Uh, this is the culmination of four years of work by John Durham. What else does this report say? The report basically goes through all the steps taken in the investigation known as Crossfire Hurricane and faults the FBI again and again for how they did it. But it also doesn't particularly tell us much more than we already knew. And, and frankly, many of these criticisms have been said before, years before, by others who looked at this. So what Durham seems to be arguing is that the FBI received a lot of information about the Trump campaign back in 2016, and that the FBI should have treated that information as more suspect than they did. Is that, is that the gist here? Basically, what they're basically saying in this report is the FBI actually didn't have a lot in, the, in terms of allegations to go on and didn't do enough careful analysis and work to try to stand up the kinds of allegations it was getting. And basically, their argument is the FBI rushed forward to investigate Trump, when if you look at some past Clinton cases, uh, the FBI was more cautious. But the truth is the FBI ultimately investigated both Trump and Clinton. So I don't know how powerful that criticism is. So did Durham say that there was no reason that the FBI should have been looking at the Trump, uh, Trump campaign? The, the report, interestingly, actually says it, it makes sense for the FBI to have examined this initial tip they got from an Australian diplomat, which, frankly, is in some ways a walk back from other suggestions Durham has made in the past. I, I think the, the report is actually fairly cautious and not particularly critical on what was supposed to be his biggest criticism, which is that the case should, never should have been opened at all. But that's not actually what the report ends up saying. Well, former President Trump, as I'm sure you've seen on his uh, website, Truth Social, said Durham concludes the FBI never should have launched the Trump-Russia probe, exclamation point. In other words, the American public was scammed. Again, to the point you're making, that's not what this report is indicating. No. And in fact, as I read the Durham report, what he's basically arguing is the FBI should have opened a preliminary report as preliminary investigation as opposed to a full investigation. That's a fine distinction, but I think only lawyers and agents care about that level of granular detail, and I don't think in the end it matters that much. Who does Durham specifically point his critical uh, judgment at? Is it senior levels of the FBI and the DOJ or more rank-and-file members? It's definitely the senior level that he is most critical of. And there's there's particular agents who oversaw these cases that have been criticized in the past, and he is even more critical of them, arguing that they essentially have a confirmation bias, that they were naturally suspect of Trump, and that colored their thinking. Uh, that's something that, for, frankly, those officials have denied and said, look, we as the FBI had an obligation to investigate these allegations. Um, as you mentioned before, the inspector general of the Department of Justice issued a report several years ago that, that covered a lot of this material. And then the FBI and the DOJ had to respond to that. Have they, FBI or DOJ, responded to this revelation today? They have, but their, their point is that they have already instituted a significant number of changes um, to, to policies and practices where there were things that were found to be wrong and, and shouldn't have happened. Uh, and frankly, most of the people who made those decisions are long gone from the FBI. Devlin Barrett of The Washington Post, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me.